Okay, so in this video clip, I'm going to take a look at this uh, BERT uh, basic Excel or toolkit, which is uh, an add-in for Excel, which allows us to pull in or call in our functions into Excel. Um, the beauty with this is that um, typically there are functions, not all the functions are written into Excel. For instance, eigenvalues here is not typically available in Excel, is available in R. Uh, if you create the function um, in R, you can pull it in then into uh, the Excel environment. Or if you have a suite of functions available in R that you're comfortable with or use, uh, then you can uh, bring directly into Excel. Now that expands enormously the capability um, of um, Excel. And if you use a package that you like in R, I use uh, R metrics quite a bit. Uh, because there's, it's an area related to financial type estimations and you have functions in R specified and they're very clearly delineated. And um, I've also uh, worked a little bit on the Vinegar Hill uh, website. I had an R metrics link um, and there's a whole range of packages there that um, are really useful. And um, I've went through a video clip here explaining a little bit of, regarding that, but in the collab, and I'll leave the link to the video I did on this area, setting this uh, Google collab up, I ran uh, quite a bit of R code. So in the um, collab environment, uh, typically if you were estimating uh, using an R function, you'd execute uh, the magic cell and then if you had a set of functions and I pulled these directly in from our metrics so none of the functions here relate to work that I have uh, produced it's coming from our metrics our metrics is a very reliable source it's very well documented and they've based uh, a lot of the functions uh, on state-of-the-art um type um construction and templates in particular there's a heavy reliance on espen hoag's textbook the complete guide to option pricing formulas and i'll leave a link also to that textbook uh, beneath the video clip but anybody familiar with that textbook would know um that um the 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 the, the template here is you have parameters you input in and then you get an estimation, okay? And for instance, uh, here we have a set of functions that have been spelt out relating to different distributions, the normal distribution. And then from that, we run black shows type estimations, right? So you see here we have GBS characteristics, which are is a, set up as a function, outputs the value of an option and Greeks. And we have GBS option, GBS Greeks, right? So I think we can run those um gbs volatility for implied volatility okay and then at the end here we had um some worked examples right so typically if i was running um this these type of estimations i could do it in r studio or i could do it in the google collab i like collab quite a bit uh, it's um, so GBS options and GBS option, right? So we put parameter values in and then we get a value out. Okay. Um, okay. So let's, let's see how we could link this into um, Excel. First thing I'll do, go back to uh, plain vanilla. I'll just copy the cell. I'll open up our studio. And I'll create a new R script, new file, R script. Control V, all goes in. And then I remove the percentage R, because uh, we only use that in Colab. We don't need it here. Um, to run the BERT add-in, 
one approach here is you save, once you download, and I've, I've set up a video before explaining how to download BERT and install onto your computer. When you download the add-in and install on your computer, Windows computer, it'll create in your documents a folder called BERT2. And then we have uh, examples and functions. And so one very nice way to make some functions available to Excel is you save the functions into that folder. So we should run the functions first of all, execute them. And then we'll save our, our script file into the BERT2 functions folder. Okay, so file, save as, and go to BERT2 functions, and I'll say our metrics plain vanilla, just so that we're clear it's the Black Scholes plain vanilla. Okay, and we'll just save. Okay, so remember we have to make sure all the functions have been run and they've been executed. So these functions now are available in that R Studio environment. Okay, now not everything here, we uh, I'll explain that in a second, but um, to run our function now, right, in Excel, open up Excel. And we go to create a, we have a new file. And we come to the add-ins and we've BERT. And part of the installation is that a separate R instance is set up and we have functions are here and the these are functions for if you recall the example we had before was the eigenvalues um example that was run on the video clip okay now in 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 our case we're going to run because we've saved the r script into uh, the part two functions folder we can call in if we run here, Maybe make this a little bit bigger. So we'll go equal to r dot, and you can see these functions now uh, have appeared. So we can run uh, RGBS and FX and uh, selection uh, okay, delta, D E T D E L T A, and type flag, uh, it's a call. And then the stock price, 100, exercise, 100, time period or maturity in the contract, one year. R is equal to uh, 5%. The cost carry, which is our negative Q, 5% as well and sigma 0.2. So we get a delta of 0 0.638. And for those parameter values, that looks correct. Um, let's try again, equal to r dot. And again, the function we're calling in here, uh, GBS characteristics. And then uh, come up to FX and that will prompt the values in. So is it a call or a put? It's a call. So just see, it'll be fine. Again, I'm going to run with 100 for the stock price. One on, and these are just parameter inputs. So if you're not familiar with options, don't worry. They're just parameter inputs to a formula. And they, the function has been saved. We didn't complete that properly. Uh, come down to B and sigma 0.2. And we have our value, but we're going to get an array output. So we're basically getting uh, the value of the call in this case, 
uh, this is delta. Um, I suspect um, delta gamma vegetator rho. So uh, again, we can compare against, uh, if I go into the collab, for instance, uh, did I run that function in the worked examples, the GBS? I'll just come down here to uh, the worked examples, plain vanilla and GBS options, um, GBS option, GBS option. Okay, so if we had put in the function that we had used before, we got would have got those uh, parameter inputs. Okay, so that's a basic uh, overview. So delta, uh, I suspect, uh, is a gamma, theta. The theta should be negative, of course. I suspect maybe that is theta, uh, maybe gamma. We can see from the, um, we go to the worked example and just look at the code or maybe even into our studio uh plain vanilla and come down to the gbs characteristics okay delta okay theta vega rho so this is the output that we get then the last one is gamma so copy selection uh, come down here excel uh, control v so it's the premium the value of call delta theta Vega, so the sensitivity of the option to a change in the uh, volatility. Uh, rho, sensitivity to change in interest rates. Lambda, which is an, a measure of elasticity. And gamma, the sensitivity of delta to change in the underlying. Okay. Uh, again, uh, it's the, the, the example here is not that important. It's uh, more how we were able to use R in the um excel environment right that's what really is significant here and i think it's um something that uh it's specifically if you're interested in the finance area um there may be a package that you use in r uh for instance i i, I typically also uh, would use there's another package um in the option pricing field uh there is markets Right, maybe just uh, explain that. Um, there are markets and it has a number of functions as well. We could load in, we could copy these functions and then pull directly into Excel using uh, the BART console. Um, and again, um, that's what makes this um, uh, add in uh, so uh, useful. Okay, let's leave it there.